Hello everyone. This setup guide is for AMD GPU users that wants to run a TensorFlow. So first thing is uh, to have a fresh install of Ubuntu 1804 ideally. Uh, 1810, 19.4 works as well. In this case, we have a 19.4 disco, disco dongle. Uh, so, but you need to check a couple of things. First, most importantly, uh, you need to check your, your Linux kernel version. So, Rockem was designed for 5.0, at least Rockem 3.0, the version we're installing was designed for kernel 5.0. Make sure you have that. You can use this command to, uh, to check it out. So next, we're going to check uh, our GPU model. So we have a Radeon RX 580. It's a Polaris 10-based chip. And after, we can check if it's in the list. So it's in the list of supported hardware. Also, importantly, we need to check our CPU. So we have a Xeon E5 2680 V2. This is an IV bridge processor. So if we check in the list, it's supported. So for example, if you have an X58 based computer, it won't be supported. And they explain why is because Prior to IV Bridge, it doesn't support PCI Atomics. So assuming your system is uh, updated, uh, we can proceed with the installation. So first thing to install is uh, the Limduma dev library. In my case is already installed. After it's to configure the, the Rockem repo. Get the key. So by the way, all these um, all these steps are written in the Rockem install page, official install page, and also I put it in my own blog, a condensed version. So I'll put the links in the description down below. You can follow it. So now we're gonna we're ready to install Rockem. Should be short if you have a good connection. So Rockem setup is finally finished. Uh, next step is to make sure your user have access to the GPU. So we're gonna give it permission with this command. Also, we might want to add the uh, uh, environment variables to have access to the uh, Rockem binaries, like for example, Rockem SMI with this command. So after that, we need to reboot. So make sure our user have access to the GPU. Next step is to check if our Rockm setup is uh, working well. So first thing we can do is issue the Rockm info command. And normally you should see the your GPU in this list. Also your CPU. So it works well. And the other command we can issue is CL info for OpenCL. So as we can as you can see, there is an error. Normally, for previous installations, uh, my GPU was in the list, and this is a, a known bug with uh, Rockem 3.0. So if you go to their GitHub page in the list of issues, other uh, users have it. I posted, I just posted it. Um, their message I got. They're working on a fix. There is some workaround if you need OpenCL, but in our case, we don't need it. So uh, we're gonna skip. The, the temporary fix. So now we're ready to install TensorFlow Rockem. So first, uh, I would strongly recommend installing TensorFlow Rockem in its own virtual environment so that you can have multiple versions of TensorFlow in parallel and can compare with the original TensorFlow version in case you have, uh, you have bugs. Also, you will need to have multiple versions of TensorFlow uh, depending on the projects you, um, you work on. So first, we need to install uh, make sure you install Python 3 and, and, and the Python 3 pip package. If 
should not take long. Also now we're going to install a virtual RNV for how to, to support virtual environments. So now we're ready to create our virtual environment. I suggest you name it v rock M, Shouldn't take long. Okay, it's done. Now we're gonna activate the environment. Let's change the name to the right one. Okay, so if it's well activated, you should see the name of your virtual environment here. And now we're ready to install TensorFlow RockM. Now that the installation is over, uh, you need to install uh, these packages. Okay, now we're ready to test uh, TensorFlow, just a basic test so we can issue Python and import TensorFlow. Check the version. So this is a basic test, like if you have libraries missing, usually we'll, you'll get error there. So for example, I try it before installing um, these packages. You can see if you try Tensor, if you're if you try TensorFlow, it will it will complain some some libraries are missing. So make sure you install you install this before. That's a common mistake. So another basic test you can do is the bandwidth test. So we can install for that we can install Rock and bandwidth test. So well, now that it's installed, you can uh, we can start the test with rock and bandwidth test. Should take two two seconds. Okay, so we can see that we have nine gigabyte second bandwidth from uh, CPU to GPU. That's quite good. And uh, for some for some training scenarios, uh, it's very bandwidth is PCIe bandwidth is very important. For example, uh, when you use OpenAI baselines and retro, when you train AI to play video games, uh, the bandwidth necessary is quite high. 
if you want to get good performance because it constantly sends images uh, to the GPU um, for training. So, for example, I test with a setup with only one gigabyte seconds PCIe and the training performance was, uh, was cut in half. So that's a quite important metric to check. So another important command is a uh, rock MSMI. So if you're familiar with uh, NVIDIA GPUs and you, you did some training on NVIDIA GPUs before, you're surely familiar with NVIDIA SMI. So it's already installed. So you can see uh, with this command, basically, you can see the, the GPU performance, VRAM usage, uh, temperatures, and uh, power draw, as, long as, as well as the, um, uh, the, the clock speeds. So it's quite useful. Uh, contrary to NVIDIA SMI, you don't have uh, options to uh, make it run in the loop. So in that case, you can use the watch command. So if you want to issue this command automatically every one second, like this. If you haven't done it already, you should install the, the git command. Since it was a fresh install, it wasn't installed yet in my case. And we could do a, next, we could run TensorFlow benchmarks. So we're gonna git clone this. So once TensorFlow Benchmark uh, finished downloading, uh, you can cd to this directory here. So for example, you could, uh, you could start a standard test based on the ResNet 50 model. But before that, I suggest you start the Rockin SMI so we can monitor performance. So you see VRAM usage at 3%, that's normal, it's a frame buffer, and GPU at 0%. So we can start the test. So we use a standard parameters, batch size of 32, and of course one GPU. So we specify no data, so it's gonna use the synthetic data. Okay, so test is over. So as you can see, we got a little bit of over 50 image second. Uh, to compare against other cards, uh, for example, I think the um, Radeon 7 is close to 200 image second. I saw another uh, another test with um, RX 470, eight gigabyte, with about a 46 image second. Uh, 
for the potential of the card i would expect this to be more towards the 90 but to be sure we need to uh, to profile it but that's the subject of uh, another video where i will compare the rx 580 to uh, to other other cards and uh, nvidia cards also as well so that's it hopefully that was uh, useful don't forget to subscribe and like the video and if you have questions and if you want to report uh, the, your own benchmark results uh, please comment down below.